All right, Kevin, I was discussing with my friend David Faber this morning, and we said, how the mm -hmm. heck is it possible that this hack, this solar winds hack, which for all we know is still ongoing, mm -hmm. has just kind of dropped right. from view? Where there, there might have been hundreds of people who were hacking us, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. But when you look at the landscape right now, Jim, I've never seen anything like it. I started responding to breaches 25 years ago. This week alone, we're still responding to the remnants of the solar winds breach. And by the way, that's an ongoing campaign. The group that hacked and put an implant in solar winds, they're not going away. They've been hacking us for 10 to 20 years. They're going to be doing it the next 10 to 20 years. But you referred to in your opening statement about four zero day exploits, meaning exploits that have no patch came out this week alone in Microsoft's Exchange server, the email server. That, that went undetected for potentially a couple months. So there are a lot of major campaigns in cyberspace right now that are being very successful hacking American organizations. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.